guys been to Toronto before? First time. First time, First time for me. My name is Hyung Young Park. I'm the chef and owner of the Ato Boy restaurant. So Toronto seems like very young and very interesting. I'm Ignacio Matos from Estela restaurant in New York City. Toronto is have a multicultural background. It's broad of possibilities when you have like these resources. I'm Sam Lawrence. I also work with Ignacio at Estela in New York. It's a really exciting time for food in Ontario. You're supposed to slur it into one syllable. It's Toronto. 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 So I'm really excited to take you guys through my Toronto. It's got a lot of history and it's really gritty. A lot of people think it's a farmer's market, but it's a neighborhood. We do cheese real well in Canada. There you go, Wildwood. It's from St. Mary's, St. Ontario. Mary's, Ontario. Mm, that's good, right? really nice, yeah. lifeblood for me of Kensington Market. Yeah. The unique thing is everything in here is from Ontario. He only sources directly from farms he knows. So no matter what you're eating, it was grown and raised by somebody in this province. We enjoy the time at the market a lot. Like in different type of the food and everything is like very tasty and interesting. This area, a collective of artists started a group to basically champion the area to make it legal to practice street art. And inadvertently, as a result of all of this, it's become this preserved tunnel mm. for the area. We are an authentic French restaurant, but utilizing local ingredients and what we have around us. I think the products in Ontario are great. What we produce here is so beautiful. Having the relationships with the suppliers and the farmers and everything helps me know what's going on. Let's do this. I started with two hives. This was a hub, hives. two hives. Now we manage about 520 <laughs> okay. in total. Okay, 520 hives, that's yeah. amazing. So this box could be 50 pounds of honey, so you're looking at two to three pounds per frame. So the bees put the nectar in there and then they dehydrate it, kind of like maple syrup. And once it's done, they'll put wax on top of it, and that's the honey. Frame to frame, you can have different honey. And so if you harvest it frame by frame, then you have different tastes. The nectar is pretty delicious, it's like very vibrant. Mm. So, this is garam? Yeah, so we cook the chickpea, like toss it with toasted rye berry, and grow the koji mold. Kombucha we make with the maple syrup. It's very Canadian. It's delicious. The texture's yeah. amazing. This is our favorite, like, lack this of fermented fruit. Yeah, yeah, the blush this is berries. Blast. What kind of ferment do you guys do in your restaurant? We do normal, like, just plain vegetable ferments, keeping it pretty clean. Then you try, you know, over and over and over, and maybe it takes, you know, two years until you nail something out. Outside, I've got a little outdoor oasis. We grow all our own herbs uh, and edible flowers. It's really hard to have things like this out, you know, in Toronto, but we managed to make that a focus of our restaurant. We're full, but hungry. Yeah, that's the crazy thing with this. You start eating and you can't stop. We learn a lot 
and we experience a lot about Toronto. It's been good. I think we get a really good sense of how versatile this region is. Toronto is a great city and in a way it has like this like mellow, low-key kind of vibe, but it's a blank canvas that it can be shaped in whatever direction. It's made me more like exciting about the Toronto and generally about the food scene in Canada. And of course I, I will come back for more fun.